So, she's over at North Promenade. Oh, wow. She's so tiny. Is she, uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Chocobo Colina! Oh! <coughs> Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh... So who are the you? Oh, you can call me Chocolate! I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm! I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Uh, cool. All right! Care to shop? I've got the goods! Chocoboco Chase! operation is this? It's called a shop, dear. You're in luck. I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Choco Connection. So, hey, are you ready to head back to Grimoire? Selfish selfer poo. Well, I don't remember you the raising me at all. Who's this? Oh, hi. I'm just your adorable local wind pixie, aka Seraphie. My hobbies include gossip mongering and, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm good at hoarding things. Yep. Hoarding? Hoarding. Why do you think I'm here? You must have tons of prismariums, more than you can handle, right? Well, we're still working on it. Uh-huh. You'll have scads of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? This pixie right here. Anacro made me a special prism case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree? Oh yeah, this prismarium belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case.
Anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leaving us? Yes, you handle things now. Oh, okay, I the will. It's cool. Mm. I'll lock this place down mm -hmm. tighter than a Marlboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphy guarantee. Huh? Sit down. But, she but where are you going me. now? Oh, well. Somewhere what else, of mean? course. Yeah, that's huh? not exactly very helpful. Awesome. Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? But you've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire and light banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science? Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. She's gone. Dude. Uh, I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's Anna Krell for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna Crow is Anna Crow, wouldn't you say? Pity the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up. Well, that certainly cost us a chunk of time. And whose fault is that? Oh, uh, yeah, I want names. Predictable.
did it! That wasn't so bad. I know, I know. But could we see all this stuff before? Now that you've fought that thing the once, you can see all its information. And if you the happen to know some Libra magic, you can peep at its data before you even jump in. Very good thing to keep in the mind. Got it. Yep, very good thing to keep in the mind, Lon. Uh, why are you repeating it? And just for my sake? Chapter 2 Foretold by Prophecy
Hey, sis, is that a town over there at the end of the bridge? Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. We're supposed to get on? Absolutely! All the aboard! Whoa, dude! Oh. oh, hey sis, let's park it here. Sure. How long it's been since we've had new passengers? Huh? 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 Right. right, tickets, please. Yeah! Ah! 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 A mirage? What? It talks? Oh, I indeedly needly am a mirage. But I'm also the train conductor, so tickets, please. The conductor? Tama can talk, then why not? But the train tickets that we need are right in the here. Right the hell? Wow! Semi-lifetime passes, eh? Haven't feasted my eyes on one of these in a swell spell. Right then. Pleasant journey. Where did those tickets come from? In the Crow made sure I was provided with everything we could ever the need. Yep, yep. Uh, okay then. So why a semi-lifetime pass, and not a lifetime one? Place rules. Yeah, it's like something right out of a fantasy. Hey, Tama, why don't you hitch a ride? Roger the Dodger! Pardon me. Huh? If I may ask, would you be kind enough to tell me what country you hail from? Oh, us? We're, uh. Ah! <laughs> Mirage is from the Mahamushin <laughs> Army! <laughs> Bahamu? What's a Bahama? Well, the Bahamutian Federation has a whole army of mirages in their employ. Huh? Someone's made a whole army out of them? Sounds just fine by me. Line them up nice and neat for us, so we can round them up. Huh? Hey, wait up! Uh, on! All right, you Bahamoos. What's your beef, huh? You even make it sound like they're made of beef. <sighs> yeah, Lon, don't you know what's at stake?
Gotcha! Imprison! Whoa! What the? What just happened? Why wasn't I able to imprison that mirage? Didn't you see the light that's surrounding it? That means it's the beholding to another keeper. The what? B.O.? The smell? Uh, no! What I mean is, the Mirage already has another the Master. So until you give their boss the old heave the hoe, you won't be able to claim it for yourself. Fire whoever wrote that little hook in. Ron, Ixnay on the fourth wall stuff. Giants. Oh, whoops. Are they Bahamutian soldiers? But they drove the mirages off for us. It's just like the prophecy, word for word. But which one? Well, we know how it ends. Please, may I speak with you? Huh? Oh, uh, sure. Two of you. You've traveled here from another world. Oh, well, I wouldn't... I mean... Actually, I think you're pretty much spot on. And we're Mirage Keepers, too. Oh, run! Don't tell her! Why not? Face it, we're too awesome to try and hide it. I'm, like, exuding all over. Mon, you don't even know what exude means. There is someone who would like to have a word with you. Could you possibly... Stop by Castle Cornelia. So let's find this Casa Cornelia's place. Doesn't Casa mean up? It's gotta be higher up. Well, you've got the direction correct. Even if the rest of that was completely off the base. That woman must be important if she's inviting us to the castle. What's up, guys? Nice armor. Leave them alone, please. Thank you for coming. Welcome to the Kingdom of Cornelia. I am Princess Sarah. Wait, you're like a princess? We had no idea. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry Lon acted like such a royal idiot. I'm not royal. Oh, and I'm his older sister, Rain. It's an honor. Please forgive the ruse. At first I suspected that you might be agents sent here by Bahamut. I was wrong. You stood up bravely against their mirages and kept our town safe. All of Cornelia thanks you. Oh, I wouldn't say we were that brave. Really. <sighs> Stop, you're so modest. Still, the fact of the matter is, we didn't do anything all that outstanding. Yeah, we're more the in-standing types. Huh? I'm pretty sure that in-standing isn't an actual the word. <laughs> oh, forgive me. It's just so hard to believe that you two are the stuff of prophecies. Prophecies? Oh, that's right. I think I heard the townsfolk going on about some kind of prophecy too. Oh, I am sorry. If you will permit me, I will explain it from the beginning. You see, Cornelia is an unfederated state midway up Grimoire. Unfederated? Yes. Let me explain that as well. The majority of Grimoire's countries and municipalities have annexed themselves to the Bahamutian Federation under the rule of Brandalus, the Herald King. Cornelia, however, has continued to maintain its sovereignty. The Federation has made attempts to erode this stance countless times. But we have held our ground, and now Bahamut has taken to armed provocation. You mean like that mirage attack before? Yes. So where does this prophecy factor in? The Azure Prophecy speaks of a divergence. 
When time begins its march anew, they shall return as visitors. Giants from the hills of a world not our own. Upon Grimoire, they will wreak two divergent futures. One that brings salvation, and the other ruin. An enigma to confound even the highest mind. The giants may... wreak two futures? Reek, huh? Oh, man! Tama, this prophecy's about you! What? What? Mm. what are you even talking about? Mm. There's mm. nothing wrong with the way I smell! Mm. You big the dummy! Well, at least I'm dumber than you! I'm oh, sorry, Your Highness. I'm afraid there's just no hope for them. Oh. So... The giants from the hills... As in... Nine Hills? I guess it's one of those believe-what-you-want-to things? But yeah, so far, it does seem to match up. Um... Do you mind if I ask you a slightly awkward question? If this federation is really so terrible, why have so many countries agreed to become members? Most of the mirages in Grimoire, not all, but certainly most of them, are now firmly under the Federation's control. With such a powerful army behind them, citizens can go about their lives without fearing the mirages that still roam free. Dude, they control that many mirages? Seriously? Y yes Uh, dude. Whoa. King Brandless's Herald Lieutenants, known as Seguardus and Pelinor, Command all of Grimoire's mirages with the same authority as the famous Queen of the Keepers of ages past. So there was a Queen of the Keepers? Sounds like she was pretty powerful. Yes, but that was more than a century ago. So, sorry for the string of dumb questions, but if the Federation can guarantee that kind of absolute protection, wouldn't it be worthwhile to take them up on their offer? It may seem wise. But you see, membership in the Federation involves following their laws and adoption of a heinous creed. It chills me right to the marrow of my bones. That bad? Yes. I beg you, see for yourselves. Once you have done so well, you will understand. All right then. Now then, may I ask what the two of you intend to do next? Well, whatever's going on out there, the only thing we can do right now is just keep rounding up more mirages, am I right? Oh? Apparently, at one time we commanded a whole legion of them. But somehow, we lost them along with our memories. So, we're hoping by getting the mirages back, we might stumble on some clues about our past. That's right. So if mirages like those goblins are bugging you, we can lay down the smack. Lay down the what? Uh, I think... What he's trying to say is we'll help you out, or at least, in the best way we know how. Oh, wonderful! You have my thanks. Mine and all Cornelia's. Still, if we're going to be any help, don't you think we need to beef up our arsenal first? Cause we can't put up much of a fight without some strong mirages. Good point. Princess, do you know of any nearby places where strong mirages live? Certainly. If you travel to the northeast of Cornelia, You'll find the Nether Nebula, a network of caverns inhabited by many wild mirages. Ooh, nice! Well, Not at all. Savage mirages huh? have been sighted in the nebula. You may well end up dead. Th that's cool. If you insist upon going, then please take the utmost caution. He will, your highness. Otherwise, he's gonna be extremely sorry! Wait a minute, why just me? What did I do? It looks like we'll need to wind our way down to reach the exit. Seems that way. What a funny way to build a town. Oh, it's not that this strange to the people of Grimoire. Hey, while we're here, why don't we ask around town and just see what we can find out? <laughs> <laughs> 